Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their intentions? As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, okay? All right, spirit angels, guys, what messages do you have for Aquarius? when it comes to love. What's going on for Aquarius? Let's see. What's going on in their connection? Oh, religious factors. So that for me is a card all about spirit. It could even mean spirit being involved in the connection in some way, speaking through signs, synchronicities, or just intuition. Let's see. What else for Aquarius? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I feel like spirit is guiding some sort of meeting is what I'm seeing here. And notice how in this card, there's angels in the back of this couple, if you can see. Almost like they had like a part to play in that conversation. That's what I'm feeling. So let's see. What can you tell me? about this connection for Aquarius. Can you tell me about this connection for Aquarius, please? What's going on in this connection? And this reading will be for those of you who are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. Six of Swords. I actually was seeing that card while I was shuffling too. Nine of Wands reverse. Ten of Cups. I feel like what I'm what I'm seeing here is someone coming to see you Aquarius or you going to see someone. I feel like someone's walls are coming down. They're no longer guarded. We'll see if I'm right about that. 10 of cups this could be a family, it could be a happy ending, it could be um, a situation where you feel very emotionally fulfilled, happy. So let's clarify. Let me clarify these energies for Aquarius. Some of you could be living at a distance from someone. Because I feel like perhaps there's travel involved here for Aquarius. What messages? Do you have for Aquarius? Tell me about the Six of Swords. What is the Six of Swords here? Three of Cups reversed. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What? The Sun reversed. More about the six of swords. Nine of cups reverse. So what I'm seeing is a very clear message. Someone's leaving a third party, a situation that's very unhappy, or perhaps this is someone who chose a third party, and it was the wrong choice. They didn't get their wish with the nine of cups reverse. They're not happy with the sun reversed. That's what I'm seeing with the three of cups reversed. There's some sort of interference here and I feel like it's another person. Someone got in the way of this connection. It could be a family member, it could be a boss, a coworker, a friend, um, another partner, but whatever that was, it wasn't happy. It, and I feel like someone left that connection. 
and could be headed towards you here. Let's see, why is this Nine of Wands reverse? Ace of Wands reverse. Why is the Nine of Wands reverse? Two of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. Empress reverse, Emperor reverse. Wow, this is not, I feel like you are not on the same page with this person. Someone juggled two and I feel like once again, that was the wrong choice with the Seven of Cups reverse. Seven of Cups upright is all about choices, fantasies, illusions, making the right choice, making choosing the right option. Not every cup is equal. It could be confusing having so many options, etc., etc. And I feel like with the Two of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Wands reverse, someone made the wrong choice. And now they're exhausted, worn out, and possibly there's trust issues here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. So this is a very different reading than what I was originally feeling. Let's see, why is the Ten of Cups here for Aquarius? King of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. That could be you, Aquarius, that King of Swords. Someone wanting to talk, someone very serious. King of Cups reverse. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing someone that's not. Not going to be emotionally swayed. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. They don't want emotions to get in the way. They want to talk about things clearly, logically, like adults. Justice reverse. Libra energy. Why is justice reverse? Why is justice reverse? Temperance reverse. Sagittarius energy there. Something's not coming together here. Something doesn't feel fair, balanced. This is out of balance. This is something that just needs more time or it's just not working. I feel like this King of Swords is ready to cut something out, something or someone. Let's see. About this King of Swords. Tell me about this King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here? Wow. Ace of Cups. Tell me about this King of Swords. King of Pentacles. I have three, three, three people here. Three kings. But this could be someone exhibiting the same energy. This is someone serious. Like this is someone that has a lot of love. That's also thinking of stability. That's thinking about being honest and straightforward. This is someone that takes their time thinks about what they say. So I'm seeing like a, like, I feel like there's a few uh, scenarios that could be on the table right now. I feel like a large number of you are dealing with someone that's already probably having a family um, or a marriage or a long-term commitment. They were, um, there was a third party interference, someone that could be a family member, for example that got in the way of this connection and that person is leaving that connection, possibly even initiating a divorce because it's not working out. Things are not working out for this person and they're thinking about a new offer. 
you could even have an offer of love from two people Aquarius but that's I don't, I'm not feeling that as strongly so let's get some more information here let's see what are your feelings towards each other tell me about the energies that Aquarius is bringing to this connection What energies does Aquarius have towards this person or this connection spirit? Energies from Aquarius connection. Ooh, passionate. Passionate energy. A lot of chemistry. Hmm. And the firefly. Interesting. look at the firefly real quick because sometimes I confuse it with the dragonfly but I think this one's more about something to do with like light pure radiant illuminating high frequency charge cannot be sustained for long moment of inspiration or awakening that quickly fades if you don't catch it I feel like there's a lot of attraction that you have for this person, Aquarius. There's something that binds you to this person or like pulls you towards this person. I feel like this person could be a karmic partner or someone that um, you met them and like your world changed. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is in a connection with. What are their energies? energies towards Aquarius this person has a lot of feelings for you as well also adapt this person could be older yeah they're watching you watching and waiting very um, cautious energy here and I feel I don't know it's almost like a caution that stems from experience like they don't want to repeat the same mistakes or something like that Tell me if this is resonating, Aquarius, down in the comments. Let's get some more information about these energies. Tell me more, Spirit, about these energies. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. If you're interested in this deck, it's linked down below. Tell me more about Aquarius's energies, please. Towards this person. Time out. Time is of the essence. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is in a connection with. What are their energies? Tell me more, please. Budding romance, new love, romance, courtship, romance is in the air. Exactly. I feel like this person, they're seeing you, but they're on a mission. Do I want to use this deck? No. Let's get some more information here. Tell me more about how these two are feeling about each other. Let's start with you, Aquarius. And Aquarius, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more because the energies can be flipped. Tell me how Aquarius is thinking or feeling towards this person. What is Aquarius thinking or feeling? The star, you show up in your own reading. Tell me more about how Aquarius is thinking or feeling. Ace of Pentacles, so reverse. So this is something that has not, this never took off really. There could have been a loss here, but you haven't given up hope. I feel like you still have hope or faith in something here. Holding on to this is what I feel. Tell me more. Tell me more. Spirit, how is Aquarius thinking or feeling? Up oh, to Ten of Wands reverse, Empress reverse. Yes, there's there's a heaviness here. With the Empress reverse, this person could have left you behind or made you feel like I don't know like I feel like they really disappointed you but not just disappointed you like 
didn't treat you like you deserved. The Emperor. This person you feel is your divine counterpart. You probably have a very good... Um, when, when things are good, they're really good. You could be dealing with an Aries. That's this Ten of Wands reverse. But I feel like this person didn't give you, yeah, the Sun reverse, Knight of Cups. I feel like there's a lot that hasn't been said. You could be expecting an apology or wanting some sort of message from this person, expressing how you feel. There's something here where you're just very unhappy or um, maybe you are not honestly discussing your feelings with this person. Tell me about this person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies? How are they thinking or feeling about Aquarius spirit? Five of Swords, what? Tell me more. Oh no. Five of Swords, the full reverse. Tell me more. Four of Swords, reverse. Eight of Wands, reverse. This person knows that they did you wrong. They know that things were unfair to you, that they didn't play fair. They probably deceived you in some way. They weren't thinking about what they were doing. And this this is like leaving them restless. This person cannot... It's almost like their conscience is eating at them. Or messing with their mind. They're, but they're not communicating or moving either with the Eight of Wands reverse. What's this Five of Swords about? Yeah, this was a bad judgment call. They were not thinking clearly. Whatever happened, it was a mistake and they know it. Yep. Seven of Cups. This is that person that made the mistake. They chose the wrong cup. This person chose the wrong cup, made the wrong choice, and they know it. Because nothing has worked out for them since. Tell me about the Four of Swords Reverse. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. They're trying to like find peace. I'm telling you, this person does not have peace. Yeah, and all they think about is you. Is This is what I'm picturing, is them thinking, how can I fix this? How can I bring this into balance? All I can do is dream about Aquarius, think about Aquarius. That's all that they're thinking about here. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Two of Wands reverse. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. They have to make a choice, choose a path. There's hesitation here. Yeah, they're thinking about the past. Six of Cups reverse, but it's almost like nightmares or or a bad. I, I'm picking up like um. Uh, it's almost like the past it has been difficult. Nine of Wands reverse, exactly. The past has done a number on them. Um, when they think about the past, they think about how badly they screwed up. So they don't have peace about the past. That's what I'm picking up. So let me clear up the board here because I want to know what's next. What's the potential outcome here? So I'm going to choose a few cards in this reading. Okay, spirits, angels, guides. What's the potential outcome here for these two? Potential. Whoa. Oh, there's temperance again. Potential outcome, please. For Aquarius. Okay. Potential outcome, please, for Aquarius going on next in this connection. What's next for this connection, Spirit? Ten of Swords reversed. What's next for this connection? Magician reverse. What's next for this connection? Aquarius. Chariot reverse. Cancer energy. 
bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, that's this Tiger energy, by the way. The Tiger energy for me is very similar to the Queen of Wands. They are not afraid to go after what they want and nothing gets in their way. Very um, sexually attractive energy, very sensual, uh, very confident energy. This is someone that knows exactly what they want and how to get it. They're not shy. They're not reserved. Like they, they, they have no reservations. So I feel like someone either sees you in this way or they want you this badly, Aquarius. However, <laughs> what they want to manifest, I feel, is going to be either very delayed or is going to take a whole change in direction because the chariot reverse can mean someone's at a dead stop, uh, no movement, no progress. Um, but it also could mean that someone's on the wrong path and needs to change direction altogether. Um, I feel like some, the direction that someone is in their life right now, they're not able to manifest certain things and they know that. And I feel like that's your person. It's almost like they, they're just looking at what they want. This crocodile, this, this crocodile is looking straight at this tiger. And it's almost like they have their eye on what they want. Um... They just don't know how to how to get there. And it's because they need a whole different... It would have to be a huge change for them. The Ten of Swords Reverse is a card all about um, moving on from the past, from what's already happened, getting ready to start a new cycle. It could even mean that someone is asking for forgiveness or willing to forgive in order to move on. This could be you ready to move on from this person. Let me know down in the comments if that's the case. But it could also be someone that's ready to just make peace and see where this goes. Um, thank you so much for watching Aquarius. Thank you so much to everyone who continues to uh, watch my readings and support my channel. Thank you so much for your shares, likes, and subscribes. If this reading resonated for you or if you just enjoy my readings in general, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Um, and I will see you all in another video. Take care.